book 316. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about the three gods of the underworld, part one. That's right. The three gods of the underworld, part one. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, a long, long time ago, in a kingdom which stood exactly 123 miles away from the largest ocean on earth, a high priest sat inside of the schoolhouse with this most promising student. This student, who was one of my ancestors no less, did not know that he was the most promising student. In his mind, he was not doing well in his classes, and he thought that he would never become good enough to run a temple by himself. In this kingdom, the priesthood meant more than simply offering sacrifices to the gods on behalf of the people. The priesthood was also the scientists, scholars, mathematicians, and physicists. Indeed, the people saw no difference between the high sciences and the dealings with the gods. In essence, for them, to work the high sciences was to work the many crafts of the gods. One day, the student came to the high priest and told him how ill-equipped he felt, and he poured out his heart, saying he would never be good enough to complete his classes. The high priest listened to everything the student had to say without interrupting him, and when the student was finished, he grabbed a white powder out of a brown sack. So be it, the high priest said. Then he blew the white powder, which sat in his open hand, and it flew directly into the face of the student. Coughing and wiping his face, the student tried to get the powder out of his eyes. When he did, he noticed that he was no longer inside the schoolhouse. He was somehow transported to a very dark place where there was no sun in the sky. The only light came from many fires burning, both off in the distance on the ground and in the sky as well. The student saw mountains made of bone and hills made of flesh, and he could even see entire seas made of blood and he knew where he was. Based on what the elders had told him, he knew that he had been sent to the underworld. The voice of the high priest came to him and said that he would remain in the underworld until he found his way out. Afraid, the student looked around and he saw a young child sitting at the edge of the sea of blood and he ran over to him. Child, the student said, can you help me find my way out of this place? The child began to cry and he told the student that he was too stupid to help him. He said that he was trapped in the underworld himself and he needed to complete a complex formula before he could escape. The child said that there was a way in which the sea of blood could be transformed into water, but he could not figure out the equation. The student said that he would help him solve the equation if he would help to guide him out. The child agreed and he showed the student his calculations thus far. The student quickly saw the mistake the child was making and he adjusted his calculations accordingly. The child then used the formula and created a method of purifying the sea. The child and student worked diligently to convert the blood into water and over time the entire sea became purified water. The child thanked the student and told him that if he wanted to get out of the underworld he had to go towards the mountain made of bones. The student watched the child disappear and escape the underworld, and he ran off towards the mountain made of bones. When he reached it, he saw another child crying, and he wondered what he would have to do in order to get this second child to help him. To be continued in the Three Gods of the Underworld, Part 2. And so, the morning motivation of today is the Three Gods of the Underworld, Part 1. In life, you will sometimes encounter a problem that you cannot solve in a few minutes or even a few days. Sometimes, in order to reach the conclusion of a matter, you must tackle it bit by bit and piece by piece. Do not always be in a rush to receive the answers that you seek. Learn what you can, apply what you have learned, and then get back on it tomorrow and go further than you've gone today. Today, accept where you are in life and do not get ahead of yourself and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning. Do all the books in the Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels book series. Search Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels on Amazon.com or visit www.dandyandbighearn.com.